Hey guys! So thankfully, World War II ended long ago. We remember it through ammo and the remains of equipment that are found around the world from time to time. Unsurprisingly, there have been tons of warplanes found since there was an estimated loss of about 250,000 planes in all. So let's travel around the battlegrounds around the world and see a small fraction of the discovered aircraft remains. The battle geography will help us evaluate the incredible scale of the destructive war. Douglas A-20 Bomber Let's start with Poland. In 2014, an aviation museum in Krakow held an operation to raise the pieces of an American Douglas A-20 bomber from the Baltic Sea that had sunk during World War II. The plane was 50 feet deep and about two and a half miles from Rosiwi. In 2013, the plane was discovered by workers from the Danks Naval Institute while taking measurements. This piece is a real gem for the museum since there are only 12 of these planes left in the world. The A-20 was the U.S. Army's bomber in the early part of the war. Additionally, it was in the British, French, and Soviet Air Forces. This plane was probably lost in battle in the winter or spring of 1945 as part of the USSR's Baltic Fleet's Aviation Division. Focke-Wulf FW-190 Werger Fighter Our next stop is Norway, where, in 2006, a German Focke-Wulf FW-190 Werger Fighter was pulled out of the cold water of the coast of Sotra near Bergen that was amazingly well-preserved. The plane needed to make an emergency landing in the water near Sotra in December 1943. The unknown pilot survived being submerged and made it to the surface. He left his plane to its watery grave, where it would remain for the next 63 years. Developed by German engineer Kurt Tank, the FW-190 was one of World War II's most successful fighters. Accepted into use in August 1941, it was very popular among pilots, and it was flown by some of the Luftwaffe's aces. Over 20,000 planes were made during the war. Only 23 complete planes are preserved, and they're in various collections around the world. Brewster F-2A Buffalo Fighter Next, we'll head to Russia. The Arctic Lake Kuliarva is near Murmansk. Searches were conducted there for four years that were finally successful in 1998. A Finnish fighter called the Brewster F-2A Buffalo was found on the bottom of the lake, and it's the only one in the world that's intact. It was flown by the legendary Lauri Pakuri. During the war, his fighter was shot down by Soviet planes, and Pakuri had to land on the frozen lake. He shot down two Soviet planes in that battle, but his engine was damaged by a bullet. The pilot saved himself after the landing, but the plane sank to the bottom of the lake. After decades, the well-preserved fighter saw land again. It was first sent to Finland, where it was displayed in the Central Aviation Museum, and later sent to the US to be displayed in a war museum. P-39Q-15 Aracobra An American Aracobra fighter was found on the bottom of Lake Mart Yaver in 2004 near Murmansk again. The plane was spotted by a fisher who said he saw something like a plane's tail on the bottom of the lake through the water. When it was raised up, it turned out that both cockpit doors were locked, even though they usually are released during a rough landing to let the pilot escape. The pilot could have died immediately from the serious impact or from his cockpit flooding. The pilot's remains were buried with respect in Oliva Slavy in Murmansk. The 12.7mm wing-mounted machine guns were dismantled. 
The fuselage, weaponry, and 37mm Colt Browning M4 cannon didn't need any fixing. The cockpit interior had ammo and stew. They also found a waterlogged flight log and other documents. Messerschmitt BF 109E7 Let's go further south. So a year before the Air Cobra was found, a German Messerschmitt was found in Novgorod Oblast. The plane was built in 1939 and fought a battle in France and Britain before going to the Eastern Front. On April 4, 1942, the German ace Wolf Dietrich Wilke flying this plane was shot down and needed to land on a frozen lake. Wilke didn't die, but then did two years later. The plane is almost completely undamaged after the near-perfect landing on the bottom of the lake. It was left there untouched for over six decades until it was finally raised in 2003. The countless bullet holes on the plane's wings and stabilizers were reasons for the plane's crash. But the largest hole where the right wing attached to the body may be what killed the plane. Lockheed Ventura Patrol Bomber Let's go to the Russian Far East. In 2021, pieces of an American World War II plane, the Lockheed Ventura Patrol Bomber, were found in Kamchatka. During World War II, it was a modern plane with cutting-edge navigation equipment. Luckily, a piece of the tail and steering column as well as air feed were found. Gradually, researchers found more pieces. Oxygen tanks, instruments from the cockpit, pedals, and handles. Many pieces were seriously burned, meaning the plane had caught on fire. Some of the ammo was spent, meaning the crew was firing at enemies. American archive data lets us guess that the crew escaped alive. The crash site had one of the pilot's chairs with time-accurate large seatbelts that were unbuckled, supporting this theory. Additionally, they found many parachute buckles all unbuckled, which implies that the pilots all jumped out with parachutes when the plane was crashing. Mitsubishi A6M Zero Fighter Our next stop is the Mariana Islands. A half-buried airbase in the shadow of the mighty volcano, Mount Pagan, has the skeletal remains of a Mitsubishi A6M Zero. One of two Japanese planes that crashed on the western side of Pagan Island. There's almost no information on the pilots found in the plane or the crash date. We do know that in 1935, a kilometer-long gravel runway was built on Pagan Island, which was made by the Japanese Emperor's garrison. The runway was used by dozens of Japanese planes every day. The island is now a U.S. territory where you can still find things from World War II. B-17E Flying Fortress Bomber So, let's go further to Australia's coast now. In 1972, the Australian AF in Papua New Guinea, in the Ariambo Swamp, found a half-sunk flying fortress. The plane was left and called the Swamp Spirit. This plane was part of the Kangaroo Squad, which left for Pearl Harbor from San Francisco during the Japanese attack on December 7, 1941. The Swamp Spirit wasn't with the squad that day, but flew to Hawaii soon after the attack. In 1942, the bomber piloted by Captain Frederick Fred Ethan Jr. executed an emergency landing because of a lack of fuel after he was minorly damaged by Japanese fighters over a ball in eastern New Britain. The whole plane was only excavated in 2010, and the plane was sent back to Hawaii and later to the Pearl Harbor Pacific Ocean Aviation Museum. Despite the many bullets in the plexiglass and bent rotors, the plane is almost undamaged by corrosion, even after 70 years of being stuck in the ground. P-40 Kitty Hawk Fighter Our next destination is Africa. In 2012, a British World War I P-40 Kitty Hawk fighter 
was found in the Sahara. The plane crashed in 1942, 180 miles away from civilization, and baked in the desert. Military historians suppose the fighter was flown by 24-year-old Sergeant Dennis Copping, who was told to fly the damaged fighter from one airbase to another for repairs in June 1942. Now, something went wrong during the flight, throwing the pilot off course and getting him lost over the desert. The pilot grabbed some essentials from the plane and went off into the desert. Nothing else is known about him. The plane was found almost untouched 70 years later. The machine guns and ammo for them, as well as most of the equipment inside, were whole. The aircraft's passport information was also intact, letting historians restore its history. B-25 Mitchell Bomber We'll end by going to the Mediterranean, back to Europe, to Sicily. In 2017, during an archaeological dig in Sicily, the remains of an American World War II bomber were found, along with the remains of five pilots who were considered MIA. The dig was done by employees from a special agency created by the Pentagon to search and identify MIA U.S. soldiers around the world. The site was near the Italian town of Sayaka and was chosen by a group of experts based on historical records and soil research using metal detectors. The B-25 Mitchell Heavy Bomber and its crew of six people are among 52 planes lost in that area during World War II. The plane's crash was even documented, and the corresponding information is held in German military reports. The bomber was shot down on July 10, 1943, while attempting to attack a disguised German runway as an olive grove. One of the deceased crew members was immediately discovered and buried in the city cemetery, and the other pilots were considered MIA. Well, that's all for today. Leave a like, comment, tell me what you learned from this video, and we'll see you again next time.